In the 2017 session, Indiana lawmakers debated increasing funding for the pre-K program and in the end passed a bill that expands the program into 15 additional counties, increasing funding by $10 million. We are talking with Peter Bellinon Rosen today, who is an education reporter with Indiana Public Broadcasting. And you attended the meeting, the Indiana's new pre-K expansion, uh, about that. And so talk to us about what happened at that meeting. Sure. So on Friday at the State House, lawmakers, they voted to pass on to the governor this big plan for pre-K expansion here in the state. Um, the version of pre-K that we have here right now, um, there's state-funded pre-K, the On My Way Pre-K pilot program that's in five counties. This new plan would expand it to 20 counties total. Um, it would include a small link to the state's voucher program and also include this controversial option for a online digital pre-K um, thing that parents could download and teach their kids on iPads. And what was the general reaction from those who attended that meeting? I think the lawmakers this year have made it a priority to make to get pre-K more expansive here in our state. So everyone was very happy, for the most part, to see some sort of expansion. For a lot of people, it wasn't quite as big as they had wanted. I think it's a really big step forward and it shows that our legislators see the value in investing in early childhood in our state. Um, to a, an even larger degree than they already have. Governor Holcomb signed this into law and said, quote, My goal this session was to double the number of low-income students who have access to quality pre-kindergarten programs. He went on to say, It's a joy to sign this bill that gives more students a great start to their educational journeys. While we're really excited, we're also really aware that this is not enough. And it's really important that uh, we have a bigger um, investment from our state, but also from our private sector as well. It's really important that our various community leaders get engaged. Are rural counties being prioritized? So the way that it works right now is there, are, there will be 20 counties that can get state-funded pre-K. And any of the state's 92 counties can compete to be one of those 20. And they said, uh, lawmakers said that they will be giving priority to rural counties and places that don't have a lot of high quality preschool. Interesting, okay, but are they thinking about lower income minorities in urban areas? So that's a good question. They, right now the pilot program for preschool has been in existence in five counties. Those are Allen, Jackson, Lake, Marion, and Vanderburg County. So you kind of have a big mix that includes places like Indianapolis, Gary, Fort Wayne, who already have it, and places like Vanderburg County, which is a very rural area. So this aims to kind of expand on that. I think the lawmakers have been thinking, you know, we've already been putting in the effort here to target kind of low income, at risk students. We want to make sure that anyone can have access to preschool because preschool is shown to have huge benefits for any child later in life. St. Joe County is largely urban, as we know, and um, you know, when we, when we talk about the need for high quality early childhood settings in our county, we're looking at numbers that suggest one in 10 children, zero to five years, has, is currently enrolled in what we consider a high quality early learning environment. And that's just not good enough. Uh, because we know the impact of that long term for the family, for the child, and really for our economy and our whole community. Um, and so we're excited about being able to um, expand funding in a primarily urban county. And do you know how, how they decided on the minimum income levels? Yes, so that was a subject of debate um, as this process was getting rolled out. Originally, there were some people were saying, you know, we want to give it to as many kids as possible. Other people were saying, hey, even with these income limits, we already have a wait list. We can't just expand it and expand it and expand it. So through a compromise, they landed on 127% of the federal poverty level. Although pre-K focuses on four-year-olds, Emily and her team like to talk about the whole spectrum of zero through five years. If we set up our, our children well in the zero to three year range, 
then we know the implications um, for success and really improved outcomes it, with that three to five year range and then on and on just improved significantly. What are your thoughts on this new pre-K expansion? Share your thoughts and opinions on our Facebook page.